VRDB++ Viewer is a great tool for reviewing the contents of your RDB++ manufacturing file. It gives you a chance to make sure your design intentions are correctly represented and to see what the board manufacturers will be using for the analysis, programming, and setup of their equipment. An ODB++ is actually a manufacturing CAD database, similar to your Expedition database using a directory hierarchy. The ODB++ is often compressed into a single file for sharing, with the TGZ file type being the most popular and native format to the tool. Other compressed file types are recognized, such as ZIP, TAR, Z, and GZ. Typically, you'll import a TGZ for viewing, and the tool will automatically uncompress the file for use in the same directory. To view your file, start up the ODB++ Viewer software, and the Jobs List dialog will appear for opening a project. If you're revisiting a project, simply select it from the list and choose Open. Otherwise, select Import Job to view a new project. With the new dialog open, we can select the ODB++ input file and choose to either open the uncompressed database by selecting its folder and using the Accept Directory button, or select a compressed file such as the TGZ and choose Open as we will do here. If the populated default doesn't meet your needs, you may specify a new file path or job name here. A confirmation dialog of the file to be imported will appear and often you may be asked to overwrite a directory if there's a conflict. This is common since Expedition already created an uncompressed file of the TGZ we're trying to import. With your file loaded, we can see the profile of your board shown in the graphic area. And on the left, we see the manufacturing layers that make up the design. Organized by color, we start with the topside components package layer, followed by the silk screen, solder paste, and solder mask. The copper layers will vary slightly in color depending on whether it's a signal layer or plane layer. Below, we'll see a mirror image of the layers associated with the bottom side, followed by the drill files. D underscore 1 underscore 14 represents drill holes that penetrate from layer 1 to layer 14. In this example, I've included some additional blind and buried drill spans as shown. Supporting document layers will follow below, such as drill charts, drawings, and notes. Selecting a layer will enable its visibility in the graphic window, and its color assignment will be chosen by which order you select the layer. The default setting is Selection 1 is red, Selection 2 is green, Selection 3 is blue, and Selection 4 is yellow, with four layers being the maximum number of layers that can be viewed at one time. When layers overlap in the graphic window, they'll blend to make a new color. Navigating the graphic window can be done using some common keyboard actions, such as page up for zoom in, page down for zoom out, and arrow keys to pan around the board, or use the home key to zoom all. You'll also find the mentor mouse strokes work in the graphic window, such as zoom in, zoom out, Zoom Area, and Zoom All. If you click your middle mouse button in the window, it will pan in the direction of your mouse pointer. The handy overview window with the red filled box will help us to better understand the area of the board we are viewing in the large graphic window. You can also use the Zoom Area command to quickly navigate to an area of the board. Turning on different layers and reviewing feature properties can be helpful in understanding the design. To see a feature's property attributes, enable the Highlight command, select a feature, and open the View Properties dialog. Many of these same properties can also be found along the bottom edge of the screen. Please note the Intelligent ODB++ file will provide many of the same features found in the actual PCB layout such as its assigned net name, and whether the feature is a toe print, SMD pad, drill, via, or something alike. Using the measurement utility can be useful for determining gaps and feature sizes found in the design. Also, taking advantage of your right-click menu will offer some quick shortcuts to your most popular operations, such as zoom area, 
measure, highlight, and clear highlighted. Please note, in order to select a feature, you must enable the highlight feature command, which can be found in the icons toolbar or access using the right click menu. There's also a highlight to icon for allowing two features to be highlighted at the same time. Also remember to use clear highlighted when you wish to deselect any highlighted features. If you enable the component filter icon, a new window will display below the ODB++ layer list. Selecting a reference designator from the drop-down list and pressing the next result arrow will quickly zoom us into the vicinity of the component. By picking different radio buttons, you can search according to different component properties available in the ODB++. Although this covers the majority of what you need to know, let's take a look at some other features found in the tool. A friendly toggle units button will make sure that you see the units that you understand. And looking under the view pull down menu, some user preference settings can be made. Use the color settings dialog for customizing your display colors. And using the components option dialog will allow you to alter which component properties are to be displayed, such as pin numbers, net names, part numbers, and pin one indicators. You can also manipulate the font size and text overflow for improved readability. Moving on to the Actions pull-down menu, we have the Board Reorientation option, which allows you to rotate or mirror the entire design. And finally, a Highlight Net and Highlight Net 2 option for reviewing specific nets found in the design. If you double-click the net name in the list, it will quickly highlight the entire net and all related copper in the design. Note the indicators that appear next to each layer where the routed net can be found. It's always good practice to review the contents of your design output files prior to delivery, so make sure the ODB++ viewer is a part of your everyday toolkit. In the next section, we'll take a look at the CAM Compare tool, which will look just like this, but with Gerber layers added for comparing.